Hey everybody, welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're going to be talking music stands. These are the two music stands that we're going to be talking about today. Let's start today with the student model music stand. Let's talk about some of the pros of this student model music stand. The best feature of a student model music stand is the fact that it folds up and it's extremely portable. And they often come with carrying bags that you can put it in and it's easier to take it with you. So it's very easy to fold this out and it is adjustable. So I can twist this little knob and it will move back and forward. It has these little extensions and those little extensions help to hold your music in place. So this particular music stand has a height adjustment of 26 to 40 inches and I'm going to show you compared to me I'm about 5 foot 8 you can see this stand comes up to about chest high on me and then this stand is about 26 inches tall that way. Another one of the pros to this student model music stand is the fact that it can come in black it can come in various colors red, blue, yellow so let's talk about a con of this music stand. So this is the stand all the way up. You can see it's too low if I'm standing. So this stand kind of works a little bit better if you're sitting. Also because of the flimsiness of this music stand, large books really don't work too well on here. So if I'm going to use a big book like this on the music stand, or even put several folders on the stand, it's going to hold it. You can see it's holding it. But if I go to touch it and I go to flip the pages, it's very unstable and it wants to rock and it wants to tip. If you're not gentle with it and you kind of slam it down, then the stand could tip over. Another con to a stand like this is the fact that it is made of flimsy metal. It does bend and it's very easy to bend and break all of these parts here. So it's not a music stand that can last forever and I did notice that over time these little places here that hold your music and your books if you're always using one side and not the other, that side over time is going to start to dip down. So then your stand is uneven. These little extensions do hold music. It is just big enough that it can hold your music, but not really a book. Just a little hack for you on this type of music stand. If you didn't want to use uh, the little extensions, but you still want, didn't want your music to blow off, you could just take normal magnets that you would put on your refrigerator and it'll stick to the stand. So that's just a little hack for you on these music stands. The student model stand is an excellent purchase. It's way cheaper than all the other models. That's probably the biggest pro. You can get this stand for $20 or less. So now that we talked about the student model of music stand, Let's talk about a more professional music stand. So this is the Manhasset music stand. It is made out of solid metal. Because it's made out of solid metal, it is really sturdy. It doesn't like to fall over. It is going to last you a lifetime. Something that this music stand can do that the student model really can't mainly because it doesn't have many places to clip onto a music light. This is the Kutek music light. I use this all the time to light up my stand so that I can see my music better. If you're interested in getting one of these lights, I'll put a link so you can click on it and go watch the video on the review of this. There will also be a link in the description below. Another great feature about this music stand you can take as many books as you want and you can just put it all on the stand and the stand is not going to fall over. 
It's very sturdy. Another nice thing about this stand is the upper part here, the book plate, tilts all the way around. And it's a lot larger. So you have a lot more room on this than you did on the student model. Another nice thing that keeps this very stable is the tripod leg. The base is heavy gauge steel and it's welded together. So it's super strong. This stand will go down to about 26 inches. So it gets pretty short. So I could use this when I'm sitting. It also can go up to about 48 inches. That was the pros of the Manhattan Music Stand. Let's talk about some of the cons to this stand. It's not as portable as the student model. You can't fold this up and stick it in a bag and take it with you. This particular stand, black is all you get. If you want a different color on this, you're going to have to buy some spray paint and you're going to have to spray paint it a different color. Another huge con to this one, this stand is just under $50, so it's a lot more expensive. Both of these stands are excellent stands, so really think about what you need out of your music stand and then decide on that one to buy. Down below in the description, there'll be a link so that you can click on those and check out all of the music stands that we talked about today so that you can make a great decision on which music stand is the perfect one for you. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you're getting all of my future content. So if you like the content today, make sure to hit the like button. If you have a question about one of these music stands or let me know which stand you're going to buy, do that in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.